Hi, I'm Moody with Southern States Toyota Lift. Today we're going to be performing the planned maintenance on the forklift, focusing mainly on the lift chains and how to use the chain wear scale. Today we're going to talk about lift chains. Common mistake is lift chains are stretching. That's uh, not true. Lift chains don't really stretch. The pins and plates wear. Leaf chains are made up of two main components, the pin and plates. So neither one are actually stretching, they're wearing. What I'd like to do is show you where it wears and why it wears. Mainly wears in the area where it goes over the roller. So the chain is going around like this. So it's wearing the plates and the pins. It's wearing both pieces. But mainly the plate wears quicker than the pin. Today we want to talk about chain safety and how to properly use the chain scale. First thing you want to do is identify the pitch. The pitch is the measurement from one pin to the next. We're going to be using the top scale to measure the pitch. We're going to hook the scale on here. We're going to measure down. It's just over 19 millimeters. We're going to come across to the scale. Uh, just over 19 millimeters is a size 60 chain. I'm going to flip your scale over, size 60 chain on the leaf chain side. That's the scale we're going to be using. We're going to be measuring from this point to 60. We're going to hook it on the top pin and we're going to measure down to 60. When this arrow reaches the center of this pin, the chain is worn out and must be replaced. You're only going to use the gauge for checking for chain wear. The visual inspection includes checking for cracked links, turned pins, bent pins, extreme rust. You'll find a chain that it will not even bend anymore, so rusty. Also, when you're lubricating the chains, you need to make sure the outside is, is clear from dust and dirt so that the lubricant you put on it penetrates inside the pin links and pins. Use a good quality lubricant. I'm going to flip this chain over and show you the wear on it and why it's wearing more in a certain spot. Again, the play in the chain is about 3 eighths of an inch for every 13 links. Now this is a primary lift cylinder chain. Part of the chain is going over the lift cylinder. So every time you raise the forks, this part of the chain is going to move. You'll see the wear area by the marks on the back of the chain. So you can see the chain wears from this area mainly to about this area. So this area is where you're going to want to check it. Most of the wear is going to be at the very top. So to save yourself some time, check it where it wears the most. Same process can be used for the secondary chains. If you find one bad chain, you replace both chains. We always replace chains in pairs. This is a new piece of chain. I can show you there's hardly any movement in it. Back to the old one. Lots of movement. You shouldn't see any movement. Forklift chains lift thousands of pounds every day. If a chain should fail, both the operator and any personnel nearby are in danger of serious injury or death from drop loads. If a customer declines chain replacement, make sure to get their initial on your PM form declining it. 
Yes, it is just that serious. All right, this is our forklift. I would like to show you where the main chain wear occurs. It's going to occur right here over this roller, this roller, and the rollers on either side. So you're going to focus on checking the chains in this area. So about from here to here. So we're going to check the, we'll check the pitch. We'll determine the pitch first and we'll know which scale to use. It's a size 60 chain, so we'll use 60 scale. And the chain is worn out. Now should I have started with this chain, if I check it, it shows still in spec. So you check chains until you find a bad chain, which means you'll check all of them. But once you find one bad chain, you replace both chains. Always replace chains in pairs. Hi, I'm Moody. I'm done with your PM service. If you have any questions, please contact me or your service supervisor.